This is really easy to put together now that I'm here showing it to you. It's probably one of the faster compositions out there. Hello, everybody. So I asked you guys, I asked you, which dungeon should I do a video guide on next? And 30 of you guys voted. Again, thank you for voting. I usually only farm Iron Twins on Sundays when it's void, because that's when you have the increased chance to get the, what do you call it, the Immortal Soul Essence. 46 seconds so far with this team. One thing to note here is Emic. We all struggled really hard to do the fusion for him. Now we finally have somewhere we can use him in Iron Twins. I have used this composition. It's an unkillable composition. I've used this team in all the different affinities and there hasn't been a single fail. We're going to go through the masteries, the builds, the gearing, the process, everything. After I do these runs, I'm going to talk to you about all the thoughts and considerations. When I followed Bronco's video, for some reason I wasn't able to get it. Uh, exactly the way that he did it, but I did some fine-tuning on my own, some testing, a lot of failures, a lot of wasted resources, but I'll go ahead and get to that a little bit later. Pain Keepers don't need to be leveled up. They don't have to be ascended or anything, they could stay three stars right out the gate. What makes the Iron Twins extremely hard, one of the harder dungeons to deal with within Raid, is that the Iron Twins has this onslaught of abilities that does mega damage to your team. I have tried compositions where you stack a lot of defense and a lot of survivability stats and a lot of healing and it, it was never completely 100% successful. Either it was only like 80-90% successful but you don't ever want to settle for those kind of statistics within raid. But it ended up getting to the point where I would just settle for stage 14 and then call it a day. As you can see here, the Iron Twins is doing a lot of damage, but not, nobody on our team is dying because we have Unkillable on. Emic is going to place the Unkillable. Painkeepers, both Painkeepers here, are going to reset each other's cooldowns. Cold Heart is here for the EMHP. Geomancer is there for some extra damage. And the process repeats itself. Uh, repeats itself. It's completely unkillable. The speeds are very tight. We'll go over that. And Emic does need a certain HP threshold. We'll talk more about that a little bit later on. Another annoying thing that was really bothering me about the Iron Twins was that every time you would put debuffs on, whenever it gets to a certain threshold, the debuffs would come clean off, messing up everything. Just, there you go. He removed the debuffs just right now. So if you're struggling with this dungeon, hopefully you have the, the champions to make this work because I definitely think it's, it's worth building out. Never have to struggle, never have to work hard or struggle again to try and get Iron Twins 15 to work. This is really easy to put together now that I'm here showing it to you. Okay, generally speaking, it's about, it's just about a minute. We did 46 seconds, my world breaking record thus far. We've ran a couple keys, so it is 100% consistent. I run it on the other affinities, like I've mentioned, and and there have been no issues. Most of the damage, obviously, is coming from Geomancer's HP burn deflect damage skill. We'll go over it over everybody. Okay, here we have Emic. Emic is going to be in a region set. At some point, Emic could potentially die, but at that point, it doesn't matter because everybody else is still going to have the unkillable up, and the Iron Twins is going to do damage that's going to get deflected to him. So even if Emic dies at the, at the very end, it doesn't matter because the run is already over. So Emic has regen, survivability stats, mostly just HP, a little bit of defense. Speeds are tight here. I wouldn't try to venture off outside of these stats, but if you can make it work, make it work. 251 speed, that's pretty much the only thing you have to worry about, plus HP and defense. Masteries, there are none. You don't need masteries, but what you do need is this cooldown here. So you are gonna have to put books on him. Emic Trunkheart's A2 decreases the cooldown of all ally skills except this champion by one turn. And so that's what's making this work. Because then we take a look at the pain keepers here. There's this one. And you know, the only thing that matters here is the speed. She needs to be going at 220 speed. That's the only thing that matters. This other one needs to be going at 215 speed. That's the only thing that matters. As you can see here, the A3s for these pain keepers 
decrease the cooldown of all ally skills as well. So that's how the other pain keeper is able to keep placing combat combat tactics as well as and make trunk heart being able to do his a2 and his unkillable buff throughout the entire run making this entire run unkillable and this also allows geomancer and cold heart to keep placing hp burns and doing their enemy max hp attacks throughout the entire fight which makes this a really fast run so not only is this an unkillable comp it's probably one of the faster compositions out there. I mean, you saw what I was doing. I was doing it in 46 seconds with my best time, averaging about 54. I think I did on Void, I was doing about a minute. So generally speaking, sub minute to a minute. Masteries, you don't need any for masteries here. You don't need, you don't even need to ascend or put anything else. Bare bones, again, you need 250 or 220 speed for this one. It doesn't matter which one is which, but 220 speed, 215 speed, those are very tight. So keep that in mind. One mistake I was making for quite some time, I wasted a lot of resources on this, and it hit me as to why it wasn't working, the books. Painkeeper needs to be booked. Both Painkeepers need to be booked all the way up with their A3s. If you could save on books, only book the A3. You don't need to book the A1 or the A2, those don't matter. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way for me. I ended up having to book everything just to get these cooldowns all the way done. Let's go over to Geomancer real quick. These are the... Uh, there's no there's no set pieces of gear. The only thing that really matters here is the speed, 204, and the accuracy, 528. 500 plus accuracy. You need a lot of accuracy. The stat requirements for this dungeon is, is are pretty high. You need at least, I think, 550 to accurately land every single time because I, I think even geomancer was getting resisted a few times but even if he does get resisted it's not a big deal like on the negative affinity for example geomancer might miss a few hp burns but it's fine he'll get it the next time it's an unkillable comp you don't really have to worry but try to aim for a minimum of 500 accuracy of course skills fully booked i was using this geomancer before on hydra so he does have masteries. If you're lacking in accuracy, come down here to the Eagle Eye. And then of course we have Cold Heart. I forgot which Cold Heart it was. 215 for your second DPS, Cold Heart. And of course that's all you need, plus the 70% crit rate and a lot of crit damage as much as you can muster. Make sure the speed is 215. Again, the link description will be down below for his video. And she does have her skills booked. If you do get blessings on her, go ahead and go for Phantom Touch. And I showed you her masters already. We went down for Helm Smasher. You need presets. They're very specific presets to do this. So we're going to go over the presets real quick. So as you can see, A2, second priority, A3, where he places the unkillable buff. That needs to be priority number one. Cold Heart, I just prioritize the A3. Geomancer, I turn off A2. It doesn't matter if you do or don't. You can use this. It doesn't matter. I just turn it off. A3 is what the priority is going to be. Painkeeper, pay attention here. Painkeeper, A2, priority one. A3, priority two, but open with the A3. A2, priority two. A3, priority one. This is the faster Painkeeper. The faster Painkeeper is going to have this preset. The faster Painkeeper, this one right here, 220. A3 is priority one. A2 is priority two. The slower pain keeper, 215 speed, slower pain keeper, priority two for the A3, priority one for the A2, but opening with the A2. Emek does need to be in a regen set and ever. Let me backtrack. I don't know that he needs to be specifically in a in a regen set. And an immortal set. He seems to be doing fine without the immortal, but I think a regen set helps keep him alive. So you want him to survive as much as possible. Iron Twins is really hard. Again, this works for all affinities and it's pretty fast. So have a good day. Have a good life. Peace.